But in any case, uh, there's a regular run of Final Fantasy V to get going, so let's continue that. The you Adventures may of Metamucil Man! <laughs> Anyways, uh, I did some off-screening just to uh, basically make sure that uh, by the time I get to the library, Bards, Lena, and Ferris won't be level 15. Oh Oh, thank you, Bumpton Butt Surfers, for the four months of sun. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's time to get this thing started. Took you long enough. Get MC some Metamucil. Just as I suspected, the ship's engine is what's draining crystal's power. The engine? Yes. If the engine isn't stop it quickly, the fire crystal would shatter. Will you go? Okay. You can get inside here, but it'll be tough going from here on. The ship's back with monsters! Good luck, kids. We're counting on you. Alrighty then. Not much we can do here, so let's just go. There is, however, a few treasures to be found here, so let's get started on the on for that. Including some mitral gloves. Which I already have, so... I guess that's a surplus. It's free money! <laughs> Alright, she has the freaking yelling rod equipped. Oops. <laughs> It's fine, we didn't do any damage anyways. And no motor traps. Well, pits. They stub Barts. And it's not even hammer time. I forgot. Use it. Does using uh, this time magic. Doesn't look like it did much. Yes, it did. All right. Free cottage. You know what? This sounds like a good uh, opportunity to use Shiva here. Yep, definitely a good opportunity for Shiva. Also, during my off-screening, I got a bunch of Ruz. I wonder why. Alright, this is not where I want to go first. At least it didn't use Flash, cause, uh, these crew does have the tendency to use Flash when they're alone. Also, I think I forgot to acknowledge you, I'm sorry. Hi, Doom Cup, how's it going? Well, 
That's why you bring a black mage. Or you Shiva. But then again, you don't wanna... You wanna make sure to still have MP before, uh, you know. Oh, thank you, Kefka40, for the four months of sub! Thank you so much! How's it going, by the way? I heard you started streaming, is that going well? This is not where I want to be yet. Damn it. I don't think I have teleport yet. Why? I do not. Okay. That's right, because I think you don't get teleport until World 2, unfortunately. Good yeah. Night. Honestly, I, I still have that problem even after a year of streaming, so I can totally understand that one. I'm no good without somebody to to banter with. Yeah, might as well just use a diamond dust. Dust of diamonds. I mean, if ever it's a good hour, I could always come by if you want me to. I don't know well at what uh, what times you usually stream, though. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it's just a view, Shiva. Yeah, honestly, it it almost makes sense at the start to not really have a schedule, so I can I can I can definitely understand that. I do want Galif to be level 15, though, by the time I get to the library, so I need him to not get too much experience. Hopefully, I don't mess around too much in the ship. I feel like this is just gonna be my strategy for a bit. Even though I really should not be using that much MP. Eh, how to make that useful? Uh, well, it depends. I mean, if you have some mage uh, abilities, you can always put that on. And once you get to World 3, well, you can get the. The different items, like the Lamia Tirara, and there's a few other items you can also get that will permit you from uh, sword dancing more often, so there's that. And also Chicken Knife. I suppose you could use this, the Dancer as a backup summoner. That can be a also, thing. Also, don't ever use Dance against the Undead. This is true. Uh, yeah, we're full. All right, let's go. Yeah, because using dance against the undead is a big gamble. And you could get... Gamble, I mean your dancer is going to kill themselves because they have no HP. <laughs> and 
In fact, Dancer has the lowest HP of all classes. Yep, even worse than White Mage. White Mage has surprisingly high HP. The second lowest is Bard. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, Dancers and Bard are quite squishy, however, they can be useful in the right situation. Okay, I never remember this. Dancer gets slightly better armor, but Bard can be put in the back row. Oh, well, I'll actually take the opportunity to use a tent here. Welcome to the Thank you for the Ozai Chen! Enjoy your stay. At least that does mean I can use more Shiva. <laughs> Except apparently this thing is immune and actually absorbs eyes, but oh well. Can't just kill it with bards anyways. Welcome to the <laughs> Enjoy your yep. stay. Been a while since I've done that. Uh, maybe it was the third one. Yes, it was. Okay. Thieves' gloves. Which this time I'll actually keep because you know. Yeah, you have a you have a reason to hoard all your equipment. Yep. I don't need to sell anything. Except for things that are explicitly weaker than what you have, with no other special thingies. I suppose. Also, despite not using it for a while, I can actually grind for uh, the death sites later on. You know, it, it, the stupid thing would be to grind for eight death sites, so... Once I have all the four freelancers with all double ended, I can't. <laughs> no. Mass try to massacre the crystals. Why well, do that when you just master samurai and use Ainuki? Damn it. That was the wrong one. Oh, I forgot the the guys you can steal the uh, de the you can get the dead sides from. I wonder if you can always. Uh... Yeah, that was a wrong place. Anyways, can always what? Yeah, also, I forgot if you can steal them. Oh. Anyway, the answer here is two and three. Okay. Also, the top middle door. I was there earlier, but let's go back. Oh. If you already got the treasure there, then you don't need to go back. Yeah, I didn't. Oh. So let's go down here. Yes. You know, the Polar Guys has a really freaky design. A face torn off a skull with a tongue going between or through both oh. of them. I wonder if they're considered undead. Let's test this theory. I don't recall. They are. Oh, huh. I do know they absorb ice. Yep. On that out earlier. Interesting to know that uh, they are uh, actually undead. Got a green beret. I yes. forgot which class can actually equip that. Uh, Blue Mage can wear it. The hell is it? Alright, let's...
Yep, blue Mong Teeth, Blue Mage, Red Mage. Oh, Galif! Got the prizes! Yeah, screw that. I said, screw that. Put the APB, man. I need to conserve them levels. Anyways, I'll be fighting a bunch of stuff during the escape, so. Just have Gallop be 15 and everyone else be above. Boom. Woman Ring Blade. I think there's only Teef for now that can equip it. I think ninjas can also equip them. Yes. But obviously, I don't have ninja yet, so. Yet. Dual wield rapid fire spell blade. I mean, to be fair, uh, Doom Cop, you can always go uh, back to the fire ship after you finished it. Even yeah, when it's underground, uh, where the airship is. Yes. Even in World 3. In World 3, the enemies are weak as shit, because, you know. On the off chance you somehow missed Flash. Oh boy. Well, I know they're on them now, so. Ah, crap. The Chocobo, is it? it's the only way! That spell sucks. Okay, that somehow worked. Aleph is attacking before Lena this time? <laughs> okay. The agility boost from the green gray. Ah, that's it. Yeah, it's too bad Chocobo is not that gray, because, uh, you know, it's a Chocobo. Chocobos are cute, damn it. Unless you get fat chocobo, then it does like eight times damage. Which is like a one in 64 chance, I think. Alright, the boiler room. AKA hey, Karnak! What's going on? The rod breaking room. Infidels, you shall pay for interfering with my revival! Okay, X-Death. Oh, uh, not yet. Who do you think was speaking to her? Oh. Batman? Yes. Clearly it's Batman. Also, it's time for Rod Breaking, the boss. And hope he doesn't turn into the hand. Hooray! I'll probably kill it, honestly. Yep. <laughs> Do it! We got a flame bow. Queen Karnak! I, I was being controlled by something. An evil spirit. 
It desires to envelop everything in darkness. Dryness. Batman. The crystals. It's just not not just the machines that are destroying them. Something evil using their power to resurrect itself. Please save the fire crystal. It's in the room just through that pipe. Okay. But first, save time. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Luigi number one. Are you really gonna go through this whole stupid room? Yeah, it's not that bad. Alright, oh, there's a shortcut you can take. Yep. But only to go back. And yep. Forward. But that's fine. I don't care about fighting mother traps. Not right now. Okie dokie. Deal with that in a moment, so. I mean, at some point, uh, when I'm be done with the grinding later on, I will have so much money that I'll be able to buy all the eaters I want. You, you would basically be able to buy all the elixirs you want. Uh, well, maybe not quite that, because elixirs still cost 50,000. Once again, I'm very thankful for not having to lose my money when I run away in this game. Instead, there are enemies that are just take forever to run away from. The Fire Crystal! Thank goodness, it's still intact! Caliph? Oh, right, I'm supposed You'll to be... You'll bet you does the crystal, werewolf! Hello, Stand down, you I'm not your enemy! You I'm not so sure about that! Caliph, say something! What's happened? Is something wrong? You know me? Ugh, can't remember a thing. Who in blazes am I anyway? And then, click, because fuck you. You there! What have you done? Sending that much power to the crystal we smash it to smithereens! Yar, I'm evil. Wow, you didn't even read his dialogue. Nope. He's not important enough. No good, the switch is broken! Well, ain't this just a son of a bitch? Yalef, I'll hold us back. You four must escape. Only one chance remains. Save the Earth Crystal! What if I don't feel like it, bitch? Go! Once the crystal shatters, the whole room will go up in flames! 
Get out of here and protect the last crystal with your lives! Werewolf! We have to help him! Fire! Shit! Cock! Yeah, Liff, you're on the ope! I don't care! Dead. The flames are dying. Cloud. Flyer Crystal must have lost his power. The crystal no shattered! Shit. No shit, it's in pieces! Where's the werewolf? He probably got trapped in the fire. Couldn't get out. I'll have a memorial! We have to hurry! It'll be the castle was held together by the power of the fire crystal. Hold up. So now that the crystal is gone, the castle is gonna blow. Exactly. With no time to lose. Oh shit! Clearly, it's time to go looting. Ten minutes. His name was Wary Wolf. And the good news is, uh, we actually have auto dash during this sequence. Thank even God for that. Have, even if you don't have Thief uh, in the original. Yep. Oh, Although man. in the GBA version, I think you, if you have Thief in your party, you can get uh, the four, the four times. Uh... Not in this. It just does the normal dash. I no, know I know. I'm talking there. about the GBA version. I know. That's what I'm talking about, too. You still only get the normal dash in this part. You don't get the, uh, the, uh, super dash. Well, it's... Even if you'll I know this, because I have Thief in my party. It's a tarp! Tarp. Diamond Dust. Also note that it is incredibly hard to run away from the fights in this place. Nice, we got a ribbon. So if you have to retreat from a fight for any reason, fuck you. One shuriken! Yay. In a game where shurikens are incredibly cheap. Yeah, unlike, uh, you know, the earlier oh. two games. Yes, the uh, Gigas can teach you uh, Era, but I think it's easier to just get it from uh, the library. Forgot which enemy in the library, but it's probably page one of the 32. page. Page 32, okay. I know page 64 will learn me a uh, freaking level 5 death. It will learn you total party wipe. Uh, let's go this way first. Elven mental. Yeah, no. The good thing that the time stops going down during transition, but still. 
Oh well, uh, there we go. Damn it. We, we don't need that, please. <laughs> Moon flute sucks. Oh, that was a delay. Learn arrow. Uh... Like, there is no reason to ever use Moon Flute, because it berserks you, and only you. As in your entire party. Yep, and if you have the healing rod, they equip too bad! Yep, guess who found that out? It was me. <coughs> If you kind of say Shinryu, no, it doesn't berserk enemies. It's only your party. Even when enemies use Moon Flute, it still only affects your party. Just kind of weird. If I want my whole party to be Berserk, I'll just use four Berserkers, no thank you. Ah, damn it! Not what I wanted to do! Let's see, timeout Kefka 40 for 69 seconds. There we go! Not really. See that Obi? I'm gonna fill in for him. Dun dun dun. I already dun, have era. Dun 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 dun. I hope you'll have enough time to get Deathclaw. I don't and I know. hope you have learning on everybody. That's okay. Sorry if I'm not very active, really responding, because I need to hurry up. This song is like custom made to make you panic. Pretty much it's raison d'être. Omelette au fromage. Mango.
This was real fun with four summoners. Uh, the fights are all effortless because it just spams Shiva. Makes sense. Actually, getting Shiva was the hard part. I imagine so. Yeah. Isna. Yeah, I'm. I'm well aware that the uh, the music speeds up when I had to do this with basically no damage output. <laughs> I grabbed all of two chests and ran for it. Which were Elven Mantle and Main Gosh. I think I got everything. Of course the Steam version doesn't speed it up, because fuck the Steam version. <laughs> Run away, run away, run away, and it goes, you better bring it, and yeah, everybody dies. Yep, the Steam version is hot garbage, which is why I'm glad that most people didn't vote for it. Other Cowards. than old pie. Cowards! Alright, forced encounter. Yes. Try not to kill this guy too fast. I'd say the one th there are two things the Steam version has over the PS1 version, though. One is a better translation. Yeah, because yeah. I think it still uses the GBA uh, script, right? It does. The other one is a lack of load times. Once again, I hope you have learning on everybody. <laughs> Iron Claw Morph. Yes, he's so famous that nobody's ever heard of him. And now time to hope and pray he'll use it on Gallif. Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Stop proving me wrong! <laughs> Whatever, just kick his ass. Oh boy. I think the only uh, Final Fantasy game on PS1 that didn't suffer from low times, or 1, 2, and 4. There we go. Burn that claw! Let's get out of here. And all the doggos inside exploded. The end. Crystal well, you've seen how many were Will in there. You heard this or as well? Yep, Beastmaster. Useful for blue magic. Geomancer. Uh. And ninja! Ready? And broken as fuck. Especially when you master it and you get freelancers with dual ended. They get it passively, so you don't even have to use the ability. Yep. Everything, all of this is my fault if it weren't for me. You, sir, are a pussy. Sid, 
Professor! Must have been tough on him. Also, dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Professor, ho ho ho. Ah, sweet. He's actually level 15 on the dot. <sighs> uh, I might want to rush there, though. Yeah, you might want to fight nothing on the way. Unfortunately, that does mean I'll have to wait until I get that quarry. You can wait on that. Just You can just go to the library now and then come back later. As soon as you get it level 5 upstairs. death, you can hightail it out of there. In fact, you don't even have to enter the library proper. You can just use that book that attacks you on the roof. Darkness. Because I believe don't, it always has a more on it. Wait, level 3 flare is there too? I don't remember that. Uh, no, it's not. The first opportunity you get to get level 3 flare is the X death fight. Actually, no. There's a red dragon fight I think you can get to. Oh, from. right, you have to. I think you have to control it. I think I already had done this, but whatever. Yeah, I did do that before. Sid! Leave me alone! If only I hadn't made that infernal machine! Professor, it wasn't your fault! Please, just let me be! Ugh. Well, nothing else to do, well, let's go to the library. Drug as shit. It's a nightmare. Also, yeah, the good thing I didn't attack myself. Then again, it probably would have done no damage, but still. Probably. Alright, well, let's run away from everything. <clears throat> Alright. Hopefully not encounter the buddy guy here. Don't care about the bees. What the bees? Basement stacks have been overrun by monsters. And that's Professor Sid's grandson. Village of Jekyll. Won't be able to do anything there until a little bit later. Finally start an enemy learning enemy skill. Arrow level 5 death. Yeah, uh, page 32. You already have Era, just kill the thing. Also, everything in this place is weak to fire. Yeah, I know. I just want this thing to change. Uh, they change okay, on... there we go. Uh, they change on death, is the thing. And there like... we go. There's just a certain number of them. 
And you really have no way of telling how many you'll have to fight before it ends. I think having the Elemental Rod equipped does boost your attack power, though, so... Uh, yes. I've mentioned that more than once. Learn level 5 death. Alright, it's time to learn Aqua Rank. This applies to fire, ice, lightning, and poison. And when you get the Magus Rod, it affects everything but uh, water and holy. Yeah, Magosh is actually better. Of course, with uh, water, you can't you can't two hand Magosh. Well, I can at least equip that on Galif. Might do more damage. Also, note that there are only two sources of water damage in the entire game, and Aqua Breath is not one of them. <clears throat> Which is kind of weird, because one of them I know for a fact is Leviathan. The other is the ninja's water scrolls. You guys aren't useful, get out of here. Okay, and saving beforehand, cause this can be dangerous. And by can, we mean you're probably going to die at least once. There we go, add Cobra. There was a very high chance of everyone dying right there and now. Yep. And yet, we're still not out of the woods. Yeah, because he can use it twice in a row and wipe you out. Ow! Also, that can happen. Isn't that lovely? So we might be dead if he does it again. And now let's try Death Claw. Yep, we're dead. So fucking dead. I think Death Claw can work on it, but it's like a really low chance on this thing. Good news, we kind of lived. Yeah, these things are dangerous. At least at our levels. We're gonna be going back to Eel anyways, so... There is no reason to ever fight the bees. Oh hey, Mitral Dry. I think you can learn something from this thing, though. Uh, you can learn Transfusion, but you have to either confuse or control it. Also, you can't really tell who he used it on. Yeah, that's the problem. But that's hey. why you control and not confuse. Or, or, I've got a better idea. Which unfortunately means I have this thing removed, but you know. It is temporary anyways. Oh. 
I see what you're doing. So whoever uses transfusion in, we're guaranteed to learn it. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that would also help if I had white magic. <laughs> Oops. How many uh, blue yeah, magics yeah, left to learn? Before. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. I know, let's use Red Mage. Gonna have to eventually. Just temporarily anyways. At least you can use it. In this area, well I think there's like Moon Flute left and that's about it. I think so anyways. And that's page 256, so... Let's get more chance of getting it! And we learned it. Well, you guys are useless to me now. Of course you didn't attack the right one. Earn transfusion, all right. Which you will never use. Oh yeah, Biblos can teach his magic hammer. Okay, this should be good, uh, for now. Let's seal, let's save, and let's proceed. Might actually need to do a special setup for Biblos, honestly. What do you mean they're without rods? Oh, they are. Well, in the case of Ferris, it doesn't really matter. Good thing I remember how to do this shit. And Gallif got a level from the Aqua Rake Bastard, so thankfully no yeah, problem yeah. with level 5 death anymore.
Actually doing decent damage with that fire rod. Nope. Oh. Well, I mean, I might as well. Just make sure you don't have the healing rod on. No, she has the flail on. There we go. Holy shit, 800 damage. And we learn Moon Flute, alright. Oh hi, Tangle String, how's it going today? Excellent. I am Ifrit. Many years I have existed sealed within the page of this book. Only those who can withstand my flames will be granted the privilege of summoning me. What in blazes? I've got some bad news for you, Ifrit. You have a thing called rod breaking. Enough. Two hits was enough. You have proven your word. I'll grant you the use of my power. We get a flame scroll. And most importantly, we get a frit. Neat. Go back with the flail, sure. Haha, <laughs> not shall pass. Yeah, hey, Ifrit, sorry, sir. Derp -a derp. We'll be fine. Page one twenty eight. The spider thing. Okay, it's just eleven MP. It's still good. It's still good. Jeez, it, it went through all the forms. My God. I don't think 128 teaches anything, and if it does, it's probably something I have already. I don't think it does. Good lord! This is a battle of attrition.
How are you not dead yet? This is the book that never ends. Thank God. And yet it still gives in, in the experience of just one. Despite killing like seven of them. Go this way first. Get a ninja suit. I'm pretty sure only ninja gets an equip, but let's check to be sure. If I can ever find it. That's one of the problems with the SNES version. It doesn't really re- Oh no, a lot of class can actually equip this. Even the knight. Huh. But I think that's gonna go on Gallif. Yep, definitely going on Gallus. Even more agility! Come on, use Moon Flute, you know you want to. Especially since this is apparently another book that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. Okay, right, this is just the, the crevasse entrance, I guess. Arts can actually kill these things on his own. Not all of them, apparently. 256 is actually... Oh god, I forgot. Well, at least thankfully I'm not using it accidentally against the enemy, so there's that. I mean, I guess? I mean...
I think this one we do have to fight. <laughs> Neat. Oh, I already have eleven elixirs. Okay, before I take a step further, I do need to re-attribute now, so... I would like Bards to still have to end it, but now I can't. Why don't you turn him into a Mystic okay. Knight I'm learning? Hmm, I suppose I could. This is not a bad idea. At least he can use fear a sword. Uh, Galif is good. And I think I'll turn you back into a white mage. With dealing rod, because you'll probably never attack. And the elf king. Okay. That should be good. I did equip learning on uh, everyone other than Gal, right? Yeah, suck. What's that? Mid? Gal, if says it. You chose. I got a bad feeling about this place. There, you have magic in the <clears throat> I don't think that works, but let's try it anyway. So. Oh hey, asshole! I have tr two rod users still. Before you even have the time to use the thing. Hey, this is the end, but only for me. Very soon, the master seal will be blown wide open. Oh, this is the first boss that actually has the proper death animation. Took long enough. Jesus! <laughs> Learn magic hammer. <laughs> right, can't use white magic while you're a toad. Alright, we can go back to normal stuff now. Did I somehow get another mango? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I, equ I equipped the rod, that's why. to black magic and yeah flame rod I guess 
Although, no, considering we're gonna be on water for a bit, let's use the Thunder Rod. This is good. And, you know what? For a little bit, sure. It was a Mystic Knight to end it. <laughs> I told you not to bother me when I'm reading! Don't tell me you went around girls in that book the whole time! What whole time? Now that you mention it, I did hear some rustling behind me! Oh, was that you? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A strange bird, this one. Whatever! Guess it's time to go back! Huh? You guys coming too? I know a shortcut! Mid, there you are! Mid, you're alright! Thank you for fighting Mid! Thank goodness you're back! Huh? You came to save me? I don't know what I needed to be saved from, but it was nice of you anyway! Oh yeah! Look at this! I found the most amazing book! Check it out! I bet in this method we could repower the fire-powered ship! I've got to tell Grandpa Sid about it right away! Sid? Oh! You know of him? He's my grandfather! Grandpa is so awesome! When he's researching, he's unstoppable! He never gives up when he's found the solution! Maybe that's how he was in the past, but now... What are you talking about? I'm just saying, he sure is acting like he's given up now. What? He would never do that to me, mid! Wait, mid! Before we chase after him, let's freaking recover. Because we still have to pass through close to the desert of shitball heaven, so... And by that you mean cast Aqua Breath. Oh, that desert. Look how quick uh, time uh, Mystic Knight is. You know what? It costs a lot, but let's try it. It's almost like Knight has really shitty agility. Okay, we passed the desert of shitball heavens. Help! Help! I am currently suffering in the mines of shitball <laughs> heaven. Please help me! This is the guy singing up. Let's just, let's just move on here.
God damn it. Dorm Chimera, yeah, we found that out. Nearly got oh, wiped by it. Pass. I thought there was a flame rod here. Then again, I think you can't get it until Karnak Castle has blown up, so it's probably why I forgot about it. Nothing on this side, unfortunately. Right out of Woodruff. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Sid! Mid isn't here? Come on, man, pull yourself together! Waste your time on a worthless old lump like me. Grandpa! Well, he's here again. Mid? Oh shit, it's my asshole grandson. Ouch, Mid, stop that! What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, you silly old fool? You never give up! Never! Mid. You always told me not to be afraid of failing! That if you messed up, you just had to start over and try again! What happened to that? Mid. Mid. Just try again. Mid, you're absolutely right! Of course I am! It's not over! The Earth Crystal is still out there! Yeah, but where? That I don't know! But we've got to find it and protect it! And to do that... We'll need a fire-powered ship! I'm right, aren't I? Yes, we'll need to get the fire-powered ship moving again, but without the crystal. Way ahead of you, Grandpa! Just look at this! Ooh, where'd you dig this up? Hmm, I see, like that. Nice work, man! This could do it! Alright, let's get to work! Eh! Alright, Sid's got his motivation back. Why are you looking for reasons to get timed out? <laughs> Move it, guys! You're not gonna excuse Mid. He's all fired up. We'll take care of the ship. So. You kids just sit tight. Yep. 
Yellowf, what's wrong? Yes, you do look even stranger than usual. Yellowf, are you alright? My head. It was like I could almost remember. And blah! Oh god, I probably shouldn't do the Jeff George voice, it's killing my voice. Grandpa! No, let's not do that either. Royal! Oh, Smith, stop that! What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, you silly old fool? You never give up, ever! I don't know. I don't know what Nia voice to give him. Just something else other than Jeff George. Oh, hey, knock it off! Silly old fool! I cry. I cry. I cry. Cry. Yellif, what's happened? Did you remember something? Uh, I ain't from this world. Eh? I walked here through a meteorite from another world. Because the evil we sealed 30 years ago was beginning to reawaken. So I came to stop it. Evil is reawakening? That's right. Big bad evil too. The dark warlock eggs death. Oh, lordy. No doubt about it. The power of the four crystals is gathered here. No doubt about it. That's deep in the crystal trap. Yeah, that's exactly the what I was going for. Perfect. We'll use the power to seal the exit. Oh, No, this is not for, for Jeff George Fiesta. Oh god, my throat. Let's yell if I can. To seal him, I came here once before, 30 years ago. So, if all four crystals are destroyed, the next that seal will be broken as well? Right. Uh, my head. Yellow. Feels like it's between a vice. Still, still can't remember clearly. Uh, no, we can't. My legs have to be reborn. Where's my Metamucil? Yellif! Um, okay. Shouldn't have had that pint of whiskey. Slip like a top. Like top spin. Uh, slip like a top. <laughs> they sound like the old man. I sound like the old man. It's it finished. We're so awesome. awesome. Presenting a boat that will sail without any wind. 
so we can use this ship to go find the Earth Crystal. Righto, recounting on you. We'll return to the Library of the Ancients for now. You should be able to find some more clues there. If you need anything, then just stop by. Take care of yourselves. Where are those dweebs anyway? Yo ho We're ho. Off. Yeah. And this is the first opportunity you really have of exploring, but uh I'll probably hold off on that until we get the next transportation, so You mean you mean the you mean the Chocobo? Yes. Oh or for now let's the airship. Oh well, for now let's just head for Crystal Isle. Crystal Isle. Crescent Isle. Crystal. PS1 version is how not to translate your game. Indeed. See also the last stream of this. Yeah, let's not go back there. Let's go back there. No, no, that's it's uh, not a good idea. Why, Why man? What? Let's just say why burn and leave it at that. Oh, uh, but I ain't Chrisin. Hey, do you guys sell Metamucil here? Oh, I get it's another quake! Eh? Well, piss. What the? Crab the ship! Oh no, the ship's sinking! Bye! Wow! Wow! Hey, hey wait a second. That ain't where we parked the boat! Don't tell me your ship was suckered into a whirlpool, too! <laughs> totally a pucky! Skill leveled up. And we learn Mighty March. You just learn the Mighty March. Little well, by little, your energy win increase. It casts regen on the whole party for free. Yep. It's handier than you think. Indeed. Just keeps bubbling. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I already have this equip. No, silk. So yeah, I want to sage robe, I guess. Cha ching. Yeah. 
That's a straight up upgrade. <laughs> Just because. Apparently we've got all that. Yes. May I see it? No. I tried to catch a black chocobo in the forest by the outer enemy. Wouldn't chocobo racing be totally extreme? I guess not. I do have to wonder if that's what they were referencing, honestly. Yes. What this? Oh, that's Galif. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? A chocobo? Doesn't look like any chocobo I've ever seen. Whatever it is, I'll catch it! Wah! He's a black chocobo! Looks purple to me. Even though he's clearly purple. Oh, that means they aren't extinct after all. Guess not. Black chocobos can fly, so... Giddy up! Oh, that was kind of weird. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't get it. Could you break him or something? Not funny, old man. Sounds like he's got something stuck down its gullet. Crystal Shores? They must have been blown here by the explosion in Karnak. And cause he swallowed them, he couldn't fly. Same within the shard, a warrior spirit, Arden Ranger. Ugh, they're still sticky. Maybe this time he'll be able to fly. And dance to some sweet music. Yep. Look at him go. <laughs> and there we go. We have access to a few things with this now. I still wouldn't, kind of wouldn't recommend trying to go to Jackal yet, but, uh... Jackal, you can jackal, if you want. Jackal, the jackal, 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 Jackal! First place I will go, however, is, uh, over this way. I passed by it. There we go. actually closer with the black chocobo than with the airship, so might as well. Lex. Bart's? That's you? Yay, Bart's back! If you didn't get Izuna in uh, Karnak's escape, well, there you go. Yeah, indeed, Aizen. Indeed. Eh, might as well do that now.
now. Or it's for you, son. It's free. Stay, stay a while and rest a spell. Stay a while and listen. In the middle of the night. Bart, you okay? Oh, Ferris. Here lies Stella. Meet my mom. Eh? You know, I was born here in this village. Mom passed on when I was still young. After that, I traveled with Dad for a long time. But three years ago, he got real sick. Scribble, scribble, scribble. That should do it. Here lies Stella and Dorgan, devoted husband. He always wanted to be buried here with mom. That was so strong. A father, huh? Wonder what that's like. Ferris? Let's head back. Then I'll worry if she wakes and fight us gone. And yeah, you can basically come back to Licks for free healing if you want. It's Bart, I haven't seen you in forever in a day! Puppy got see. Is that two here? Bards, you're strong. You're all grown up. Hey, Bards, it's me. Look, we've got to hang out later. It'll be like old times. And that, here I come. That's a long game of hide and seek. Hey, somebody, anybody. <laughs> Ever since then, you've been afraid of AIDS, eh? I was a kid, everyone teased me for being dubbed, but now I'm gonna be a scholar, cause I'm SMRD smart. I love the Simpsons reference there. Some bard moved into your old place. So yeah, you can actually buy everything at half price in this place. Which also means that uh, they're selling you stuff at the price you can sell it back. It's kind of good. I suppose I'll buy one of them. Alright, and more importantly, let's go here. You used to live in this house? Cause I have a lot of memories here. Please take your time and look around. Let's 
forgot if there's anything else we can look at. I don't know. Let's look at the obvious thing. <laughs> Stop that right now. Is he asleep? You're leaving again so soon? No, I'm not going anywhere. Spasms aren't as frequent anymore. Still, it would be nice if you didn't have to take care of me, but so we could be together as a family. Alright, see you, Aizen. No, but get some sleep. You're still sick and you need the rest. I will, dare. Let's just let's let me finish this up, alright? Scene is actually going automatically. <laughs> You're leaving again, aren't you? So you were away. Daddy, are you going to get more bad guys? That's what I do. I wanna come! You need to stay here and take care of your mother. Don't tell her you saw me leave, alright? It'll be our little secret. Okay, Daddy. It's time for good little boys to go to sleep. Stella, worry about that tomorrow and go get some rest. Stella! Fuck! Rings to mine a poem. This is for you and your memories. We get the ring here. Oh yeah, we've got uh, two of the eight songs, if memory serves. Alright, we're pretty much done with licks, unless I want to buy more shit later on. Next up, we have the actual place that's called History, if I remember right. Yeah, because uh, this is close to History Fall, so yes, this is History. Speaking of History Files, hi! Shepherd. do this and the toad spell from the toad spell toad okay apparently you can't redo it afterwards oh well Some monster dressed like an old feller is wandering the eastern woods. They sharp or they sap you with a bolt of lightning. Alright, so this is your only opportunity on till World 3 to buy these things, and um, yeah, good luck having the money to actually do so. Yep. Unless you really want to mass murder dogs for it. Which, I mean, you can technically, but, you know. <laughs> Why would you want to? Just come back after the, the uh, battle castle grind. 
I mean, at that point, it's gonna be in the uh, Phantom Castle, so. Beastmaster. A bad attitude. Poke, poke. Yep, we are. It's Romeo's Ballad. Soothing enough to move the arts of any wearing, even monsters. Forgot if that's the song that actually stops. There's a treasure hidden behind the waterfall. If that's what my dear old great great grandmother told me. That's your cue to get the magic lamp later on. But, uh, we do have something we want here, so... Let's actually do that. I think the best way to do that will be to, you know, break rods, so... Might as well do that. Just don't use the thunder rod. That's all I'm gonna say. And we're going to go on this side. And, well, we already have him. Electrocute. Here, let's use a flame rod. Ifrit? What are you doing here? Blood Ramu! You become even more powerful. You lend that string to us. Ifrit, no need to say more. You and I have never been enemies. And yeah, that's Ramu made super easy by cheese, so... Might as well rest. As there is technically one more side quest we could do right now, but I think I'll save it for a little bit later. As there's just gonna be a better opportunity to do that later. So let's actually f uh, continue the story. Sid, we found Crescent Island, but the fire-powered ship sank. Oh, so? Whatever, we'll just build another one. More importantly, we've learned the whereabouts of King Tycoon. What? He was seen in Karnak. From there, he moved to the desert of Shifting Sands. Shifting Sands, you say? It's the desert to the west of here, where the sand flows like water. That's the name. It's impossible for people to enter, 
They say that past the desert uh, the town of ruin, but no one can actually get there to see. No one can enter the desert. How did the king manage to do it? Good question. Witnesses claim to see him floating in midair. Floating? Father. Come on. It's not like we're getting any closer to that desert by sitting around here. Doesn't matter how close we get to it if we don't know how to get in. Maybe we'll see and be, ins and be inspired. Don't tell me you're afraid of some sand, old man. Please! When I was your age, we crossed burning sand every day and liked it! Come on, Barts. Hey. Let's check it out. I was unsure if you were here or not. Oh. Yes, those five steps saved from encounters were important. Damn it. Unfortunately, at this point, these enemies are kind of weak, so... Let's get to it. As expected. As expected. It's hopeless. We cross the burning sand every day and we like Wait! It. it ain't over to the fat lady sing, and the orchestra hasn't even started tuning up yet. Oh, pull the bridge! It's a little risky, but you guys are all about danger, right? How it works is, we use this bell to call the sandworm. And you guys trash it. And there's your bridge! Not the most sophisticated of methods. You guys aren't- you aren't that sophisticated of a guy! I think it suits you fine! Shut up! Alright, we're going to call the sandworm! You guys ready? Yes. Ready? Ew! Hoot, hoot, hoot. Oh yeah, if you use any magic on the sandworm, you'll be sorry. Good luck. Except for one. Here it goes. Hello, Sandworm. Let me introduce you to a little something called Aqua Rake. Aqua Breath. Goodbye. Ridiculous amounts of damage. Yes, it deals insane damage to desert enemies. Game sit and match! Or he can get into the desert! I don't think he did any damage to me. Sid, mid, take care of the black chocobo while we're gone, okay? Good luck! Good luck. Thank you! Honestly, just get a move on here. Ah, 
I haven't seen it in a while. It doesn't make much sense, but let's see it anyways. It still killed them, so that's all that matters. Shiva is probably a better choice. Oh, I'm a bear. Fun fact, you can steal a, uh, a spear from this guy, and it is stronger than almost every spear in the game. Hmm. Up until, I think, the Heavy Lance? And the last you throw out uh, World 2 if you're using Dragoon. Unfortunately, I do not have any... Of course not, Dragoon doesn't have any game-breaking combinations. Do do a lot more damage than you think they would. I should have kept with Ramu then. Oh well. And there's the little fact that uh, you can still meet the Dorm Chimera in this des mini desert, so yep. Still dangerous. Eel? And these are enemies that are close to Jackal. Yep, and they are very dangerous on their own, right? There is also a certain enemy here. You can learn a new, uh, what's it called from? Uh, blue magic from. Yeah, I think I know which enemy you're talking about. Yeah. And that's a little danger. Yeah, that, that's why these guys are dangerous. They do give 2 ABP if you can kill them. Do need more tents, I can just go back to Lex later on. But uh, I'm at least gonna see if I can encounter the thing. So I can probably just encounter them close to uh, Jackal later on. Yes. Yeah, why am I not doing that instead?
Yes, that's the town of ruins Sid was talking about. Always forget if there's a tr treasure chest here or not. I don't think there is, but... King Tycoon? Butter! And trapped. Ferris! Da 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 da. I knew it! You really are my sister! I'm sorry. I wasn't certain at first, and then I didn't think I should tell you. Sister, Lena! Eh, uh, where are we? This place is strange. Say, what's happened to the old man? Eh, he's not here. He must have gotten separated when he fell. I'm over here! He'll be okay. He's a tough old cost. I'm sure we'll run into it again later. Come on, let's get going. No! 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 Wait! Um... Uh, 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 uh. I wonder one cotton pink in a minute. I was an awful quick decision to ditch me. Yikes! Uh, sorry. Not good enough. You're getting shit for dinner. Now give me my medieval. What is this? <laughs> Look out! Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. East, West, all is best, even if you're a chocobo, huh? Boys should be thrilled, we went above and beyond the call of duty. Ugh, that was close. Oh, 
I suppose that was a warp device. After not being used for so long, activating it must have caused an overload. Alright, and now to show something that is completely optional, but we might as well showcase it. Or rather, something completely pointless when you can just do this. Yeah, it won't budge, huh? Something is carved into the wall. Check the planters in the center room. You can't technically oh. just say no and then Skip pull. This shit. Skip the rigmarole and just go to pull the damn switch. The notepad in the room oh. on the right. Why are you wasting time? Hey, you look, neener, neener, neener. Fuck! Ugh, that little. Calm down, parts. Ah, before you get your pantaloons in a twist, take a look. This is another note. Check the urn. The urn in question is this one. With a little toad. Go down six and ride forward and pull odds there. And there we go. We learn mini. Actually, do want to rest. Push this switch. Eh? <laughs> Chocobo is all confused. Alright, well, thanks for coming by, Doom Cup. This is. Hey, it's a fire power ship! I thought it had sunk! What's that ship over there? Propellers on a boat? What's up with that? Sid, mid! Ow! Oh. What the. Birds, Lena, Ferris, Gallif. What are you guys doing here? I think that's our line. Where did the columns come from? We rode the Black Chocobo back to Crescent Island, and all of a sudden a hole opened up between us and we fell. Wait, so we're underneath Crescent Island? That explains the fire power ship being here. This would have been built by the ancient. Hmm. This propeller ship? Uh, maybe you should ask Grandpa about it. Uh, wait, where did he go? Eh. What did he get the dang? This is mind blowing! Hey, sit. No bother me, Boro! I did this, and not just this. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. What the? That should do it! That should do what? That should get the ship moving! Oh, amazing! Sid, what is this thing? Isn't it obvious? It's an airship! 
You dumb shit! Amazing! I've only ever seen this in old text! I can't believe I'm getting to use one in the flesh! Uh, well, you know what I mean. Oh, what was that? Something's dragging us down! Reaping crawdads! Some monsters got a dead grip on the ship's soul! It's also not gonna last very long. Especially if I decide to do, you know, this. Yep. <laughs> One shot. Huh! Looks like that overgrown lobster has got served with cheese biscuit and mashed potatoes. Like damage to the ship was minimal, we can use power from the firepower ship to make the airship good as new. Said. If you're just going to take me, I don't need to hear it. Let's stay here and search for some clues about the earth crystal. Those are yours, kid. Now get out there. The evil one rejects that. We must prevent him from returning. Oh, that's like the third crystal. No point in dawdling. Let's go. We have an airship. Which means we can go to Jackal now. If not, well, you could use the power fire powered ship to most, uh, moor yourself here or here, I guess, or the black chocobo to moor yourself here. But it's still a long walk, and the enemies are dangerous. Yep. So might as well just do this now. Ancient Runkins. It's kind of sad that you're kind of limited in the amount of uh, magic you get in World 1. <laughs> and you can still do this, though. There's absolutely no point to that area at all. Weird sounds coming from the ground on Crescent Island. You're apparently supposed to come here first to have the clue to hey, you should go to that Crescent Island. You kids and your foolhardy sense of adventure. Pfft. Wait patiently on the road with the skull switches, and the truth will be revealed! If I want less costly tents, I just go to Lex.
Might as well do this anyways. Free money! Oh, hey. One more time! Not perfect, but you know, our piano level five. It's one of these. These can always be useful. I thought you said you weren't using Dragoon. I'll be fine. At this point we can sell the old leather crap. Leaving the bronze shit. Uh, why the bronze uh, replace is replaced with mithril? That's why I'm saying I'm selling it. Oh, I thought you said you were keeping. I was like, what the hell? Apparently I have an Ashura, so I don't even need to buy it. Never mind. And we already have the stuff from it. Okay. Let's clean the inventory a little bit though, so... There is that, I guess. It's slightly less cluttered. I might as well at least trigger the next story cutscene. As I know this is a shorter stream, but uh, I'm actually getting kind of tired somehow. What's going on? Look, the town! Loading Fortress of Doom! And you know what, I can probably beat that Amantois pretty quickly, so we might as well at least do this. And trigger the cutscene to... Get, uh, get up there. And... I'll probably do some off-screening later on. Sid, man, we've got an issue here. Save your breath, because we saw the ruins through the telescope. This is bad. Your crystal is way up there. Ancient drunkens amplified the earth crystal to make their town float. But once they realized amplifying the crystal could make it shatter, they stopped the machine. Hey, colleague, Miss Crean. Somebody's turned the machine back on. It couldn't... You don't think that... Father... Never. You would never do such a thing. How are we supposed to get that eye? 
with this? Elementite. If we reinforce the ship with it, it'll fly higher. But we'll need to fight some more. I am stable enough. I am meter out I came in here. I remember some seeing some adamantite reserves inside. Are you sure? You call me a liar? Of course not. It's just that your memory is still kind of spotty, right? I just pass. The adamantite part is clear as day. It's good a blaze as you need to start. Let's go shake it out. We'll stay here and get things prepared. You guys are in big of some elementite. Alright, let's go. I think we're full, actually. Yeah, we are. Let's go. Gee, I wonder what you're gonna do. I wonder, too! Inside there! That door place. There it is! How about that? Pretty sharp memory, eh? Oh, it didn't amnesiac like you know. Fuck you, boy. <laughs> Why are you mocking me? <laughs> Fuck you. Get the Adamantite! And as soon as we try to leave... There's something in here with us, watch out! Not that I'll probably need it, but we might as well. And there we go. <laughs> That's right, I can equip the coral sword. Great, you got the adamantite! Quick, give it here so we can install it. Parts, you guys take a break. Alright, let's go rest. Or... <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> I still love this cutscene. Hey, weird. I dreamed that the airship was already finished. Rise and shine, it's done! Yikes, you work fast. After you lift off, press the A button to fly air. So with this, we can go to the floating ruins? Technically, yes, but, well, take a gander at this. Loading city is equipped with a heavy defense system. If you don't disable it, you won't be able to enter. According to this book, the cannons are really powerful. Especially fucking soul cannon, which has way too much HP. And we must go. No question about it. Yellow quote. I'm not leaving Sea to worry. What's a couple overblown pop guns against the likes of us? Sid, man, thanks for all your help. Now let's get to the crystal before it's too late. Let's get going. Yo ho ho and stuff. Time to get stuff. But yeah, not doing that now. Honestly, the last thing I'm gonna do tonight is this whole place. Which, uh, if you don't have abilities that ignore evasion like I do, this place is dangerous. Well, we'll try it anyways. Especially if all we get is nutkins. Or so you say. Totally only gonna get nut games, right? Just as they said in Jackal, you just wait. Unfortunately, Nutkins don't have that much HP. And technically, they have more HP than uh, their cousin. But uh, you don't want to meet their cousin, because they have like 95 to evade. And a lot of attack power. When you come back to this place in World 3, it's not much of a problem, but, uh... Here, though? <laughs> it's kind of a thing. Yeah, there's a few treasures we can get here, so... All right, keep with only the nutkins, please. Now that rods are not great, but doing zero damage against a nutkin, that's kind of pathetic, I'm sorry. Ferris, you've been demoted. Got these three treasures here. Damn it, Lena. Stop doing zero damage.
There we go, I knew you could do more than zero damage. Free tent. I, I'm just not gonna say anything, because if I do, that's when bad things are gonna happen. Nothing will possibly go wrong. Well, that's not jinx. Oh god. Ugh. Welcome to die, motherfucker. Okay. We got to run away immediately, thankfully. But yeah. Skull eaters are not your friend. Like, at all. All they're gonna do is murderize everything. Oh my god, really? Bye, Lena, again. Miss. Just so you know, if you really want to kill that thing, you have to use a Geomancer. Or have abilities that uh, ignores evasion. Like, oh, if somehow you? you have X attack, that ignores evasion. Yeah, but that comes with another problem. Ignoring its defense. Even if you do hit it, it will deal zero damage. And if you think you could be slick and use uh, magic on it, it will split into five. Probably should have more Phoenix Downs for this. You have white magic, just use rays. But there, there's your big It does guy. cost 28 MP a pop. 29. Still. But still. <laughs> it would extend this slightly further. Seriously, even in the front row, you sometimes dealing zero damage? God damn it. Rods are not affected by row. And their damage formula is... stupid. So if an enemy is weak to that element, it does do more damage. And up but there yeah. is something for later. I do not recommend going out there. Even even if they are weak to it, there is still a chance that the rod will deal zero damage. I think the regular Nutkins have 16 HP. Technically, this Coal Eater has 1 HP. Good luck actually hitting for that 1 HP, though. That's really the main issue with the Skull Eaters. <laughs> Once you get in World 3, you won't have any problem, but uh, at this point... <laughs> Nut can have 20 HP. Yeah, they're still pretty weak. Skull Eaters have 1, but they have 90 defense, 90 evasion, 90 magic defense, and 90 magic evasion. Yep. And yeah, don't you use are... magic on a Skull Eater. It's not It'll gonna split. end well. It'll split into five. And the thing is, and I don't even be... think it... Even if you do win somehow, I don't think it gives more experience or gold. It or gives ABD. 300 experience and 100 gil. Yeah, so not really that worth it. 
and five APB. But yeah, we've reached pretty much the end of uh, what I wanted to show before another sequence of grinding anyways. And mostly... So your, your best bets for killing a Skull Eater are either a <coughs> Geomancer and hoping that uh, you get, uh, I think, Stalactite? Or Caven, whatever it's called. Or... Uh, Beastmaster using control and having it eat its own skull. Yep. But in any case, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for me tonight. I I would like to go further, but uh, because of uh, everything that happened, I am a bit tired. So yeah. if I could have my mouse, that would be great. Okay. Alright, well, anyways, uh, thank you for everyone for coming by, and uh, thank you to SteelPH for the co-commentary. Cool